Hello everybody. Um, a short, short update um, of what um, I've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, first, the sail is practically finished. I only need uh, the rope that have to go on the edge all the way around. But that's going to be in the uh, in the summer when uh, I can take it outside and uh, probably just start in the morning and finish one sail in one day. Uh, but I will continue uh, showing um, what I'm doing on the sail uh, until that part is uh, is run out. And uh, of course, there will be uh, uh, some on uh, on the mast project um, uh, that uh, I'm also going to show you. But uh, that's also going to come uh, later on. Um, I noticed something uh, while eating. Uh, every once in a while it uh, sounds more like uh, uh, garble when I'm talking than uh, um, something that should make sense and uh, I have to apologize for that but the reason is that uh, English is not my first language and uh, it's actually not even my first second language and um, therefore I um, have to think about what I'm saying or translate while I'm talking, so to say, and uh, while I'm not talking English all the time, then uh, it's of course every once in a while get a little harder. German, which is my first second language, is uh, um, is uh, I have, when I'm using that, I actually need like 24 hours in Germany uh, or just talking German uh, before uh, that start sounding a little bit reasonable and that is uh, even true that uh, when I was younger I was traveling as a traditional traveling carpenter and uh, spent a lot of time in Germany on that account and uh, after a couple of years I was start thinking and dreaming in German so um, it's uh, I'm, I'm quite good good in German and um, therefore not that good in English but um, I hope that you get the point of what I'm saying. Um, so uh, that was that. Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing at the moment. I just turned the camera here. That is uh, uh, this is uh, the ball spear for the boat, and uh, the two uh, two pieces of wood lying here. I just take my hand out here. That is to illustrate uh, the front of the boat. And um, that are, that are gonna be like a handrail on uh, on it, and there's gonna be a gate in the middle. But I show you that later when I actually have it done. And then there's gonna be like a um, like a fish net, but made out of uh, five millimeter stainless steel. Um, that's uh, one of the project. Another project I'm actually finished is uh, my boat arch, and that is gonna get in the back of the boat. And uh, up here is going to be the control line for uh, for the the sail, the bottom of the sail in in this side, and the top of the sail in this side. And then uh, on the pipe on the back, right here, there's going to be um, a small pipe for uh, holding windmill. And in the other side, it's going to be uh, uh, for radar. So. Um, that is uh, quite exciting. Let's go inside in the workshop. And uh, last last weekend, I actually want to uh, actually want to do some welding, but it was actually too cold for for doing that. It, it was not too cold, but I didn't want to lying around on the floor uh, when it was uh, as cold as it was. There was no reason for that. So. What I did instead was making the the front um, uh, for the the seats that is um, they're gonna stand like this and um, then so that the mattress not are uh, are falling out and of course because they have all kind of shapes they also come in all kind of uh, sizes and it's um, this is uh, large and it's uh, have been given um, some oil and this oil system that I'm I'm using that is like um, you have to apply a thin oil first like 
three or four times and then you can apply a thicker oil and then the finished product looks like it's have been varnished but it's um, like you have been putting like uh, 20 layers of varnish on it's going to be a very thick layer and it's uh, going to give a nice color but it doesn't smell that bad in the workshop i was considering taking a polyurethane varnish as on the um, on the mast but uh, but uh, i end up with this because it doesn't smell that bad so um, so that's going to do the staircases is also going to get that treatment and uh, ah, we can i can show you it here oh I um, did actually find a use uh, um, 30 kilo uh, bruise anchor. I'm not sure you can see it. Here it is. Um, used, so I'm gonna use that as um, the small anchor. I'm gonna build some uh, 42 kilos anchor. But uh, <clears throat> to get back to the staircases, this is uh, the side of the staircase, and this in here is is the step. And um, Probably when I'm finished making the the front of the seats uh, and put them aside, then I'm gonna start on uh, on uh, on the steps on the staircase, and that is um, it's easier to go to to and from that project than it is to um, uh, to do when I'm welding because some of the time I have to do a lot of preparation before I can weld, and it's easier just to do that and then do the welding in the in the weekend. Yes, um, I will stop now and uh, what's come after here is a little more on the sale and that is uh, like a month old uh, material but uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, anyway and um, yeah, hope you stick around and see you later. I uh, ran in uh, to some kind of problems. It might be that oil can do the job and it might be that it needs to go to um, a workshop to be fixed. So um, for now, or at least for the next couple of moments, uh, it's done with this machine. Uh, lucky for me, I have a couple of other machines standing in the workshops. Uh, so. What I'm gonna do now is to jump into the car and race to the workshop to get another machine and then come back and continuing. So um, I don't get to hold. If I give it to a workshop and they have to fix it, uh, I, it's gonna go more than a week before I get it back. And I, at that time, the sale should be finished because it's now I have the the scout hut to work in. So. <sighs> Not nice, but um, that's what's happened. I hope it's only oil because the machine is actually doing a very good job. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I get have to get to going with to find another machine. So, right right now here on the on the floor and uh, on the work table is lying around this. 70 square meters or 752 square feet of sail and I still need to put three panel, the, the three uh, top panel on with the funny shape and uh, uh, they uh, will give around 23 uh, square meters or what would be like it 250 square feet something that, like that in that area so it starts to getting a little bulky um, actually it's all the panel is lying on the floor but uh, the the pile is coming up in the height of the of the table the plan is when um, I just keep on adding um, a panel and the plan is when um, when all the panel added, then I have to make the edge all the way around, and at the top at the bottom there have to be uh, some grommets uh, put into the sail. And the plan is actually just to get the sail together. Uh, that means all the panel connected, and then fold it and take it somewhere else and put it. 
and then take the four cell which is uh, it's around um, uh, what would that be I would guess it would be around 60 square meters of sales what will be 650 maybe um, yeah 650 square um, square feet and um, then connect all the panels and then just take one sail out at the time and then um, just uh, get the, the, the edge uh, stitch on and um, because I actually I could just put it in a big pile and have a smaller working table and then um, just take one side at the time so to say so um, yeah I will uh, now I need to put the pockets on actually it's not the connecting of the sails and cut it to shape that take the time that's it's just the pocket for the battens there there are the time consuming um, process here and of course it's because you have to uh, first of all you have to go through more layers of uh, of sail clothes and then also um, because uh, this the sail is wing shaped the shape come from making a the edge curvy because when the battens are parallel and then you have shape have a curve um, at the at uh, at, um, at the side then it will blow out and then you will get your wing shape but then if you're adding a straight sail pocket to a curvy uh, line then you have some tension in the, in the fabric and um, the tape that I'm using will have to hold that until it's been sewed on and um, it's a it's not a big problem you just have to notice everything on the sail while stitching it together or sewing it together and um, so you just go slower when you are sewing it but uh, so when you're folding this one I just have one line of, uh, of tape and when you're on each side and when you're folding it it's basically usually stay in place but when you are taking the sail pocket then you will have um, two lines basically of uh, tape because you have one on the lower side and one on, on the top side and uh, even so you are uh, pushing it together when connecting then because of the tension when you are folding it to get it uh, lined up in the behind the machine then it, it would like to go apart and you have to be aware of that it's actually not a problem that's go apart it's more if it start um, wandering off center of of, uh, of your mark so you really have to uh, know where you are yeah I will um, I will prepare the uh, the sail pockets for for this one So, to um, to fixate uh, the sail pockets to uh, the panel, I use um, if you can see it, use this uh, tape, and um, as you can see when you look down here, it's uh, it's uh, it's quite curvy here and. Um, one piece of tape will not do so. At, in, in this area I, I put uh, two lines in and it's actually uh, quite good to fixate it and then to force it around I just make uh, make uh, this little uh, yeah otherwise I, I'm not able to put it around. I'm not sure um, what effect it's gonna have on the sail when it's up but uh, I'm guessing it's not much and I'm pretty sure that when the wind catches uh, the sail it's gonna move the boat anyway despite of this right here. here you can and here you can um, behind the pockets I make uh, like one feet actually it's a little more but it doesn't matter it's a little more than a feet here and that is for the line coming around the mast be connected to the batten and then uh, here is the next uh, sail pocket and um, I just 
just do like this. And as you can see here on the first three or four feet, it's actually also a little curvy, but it's straight all the way down. So um, all the way down, I'm just gonna put one line of, uh, of uh, tape and uh, then here at, at the curved uh, part, I'm gonna put in two lines because um, a very good friend uh, working in a company where they have these and he have been giving them to me and he said, try this, I'm sure it's gonna work. And it's actually, it's worked very well. Um, and um, even through I don't have to pay for it. Um, I, I will not um, uh, hunt uh, his uh, kindness of giving me a tape. He said, when you run out, you just come back and say, I, then I give you some more, but um, uh, good friends uh, you should always take care of and not um, not use it um, too much. It's so um, I try to save it as if I was paying for it and uh, then I'm just happy that I don't have to pay for it. And um, so it's it worked good and I'm happy with it. So, this piece is uh, four meters long and that will be um, 16 feet or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. It um, doesn't matter, quite a long piece. And it uh, just goes straight down to the bottom and at the bottom there is also a feet for where the, the baton is coming out of the sail. So um, I will uh, put the band on and uh, and then uh, get this one on and get it so on so that um, we can put the next panel on. It's um, always the next piece.